My name is Cha Hui Zheng. I'm a psychologist and professor at the University of Hong Kong. I study learning, attention, and perception. In Asia, many, many families put children's education as their first priority. In Hong Kong, many preschool or playgroups, they emphasize the multi-sensory integration learning. And many parents are made to believe that if they expose their children or infants to stimulation from visual, auditory, and touch, that will help their future growth and learning. So I'm very interested in that saying because I don't find a lot of scientific evidence to back it up. In the past, there have been reports that, oh, infant couldn't learn it if it's just visual alone or auditory alone, but infant can benefit if it's visual and auditory together. So this is like, okay, I'm going to find, buying some grocery, and then I decided to go to two supermarkets. Of course, if you go to two supermarkets, the chance you're going to find that item is higher than if you only go to one grocery store, supermarket. And then learning from auditory plus visual is like you have two supermarkets to learn from, to get the item. And of course, it's going to be easier to learn. We found out that when infants are learning a new rule, and this rule here, we're talking about very abstract rule, things like the grammar, like in our language. If infant has both auditory and visual exposure of those rules, the auditory and visual needs to be related or congruent to each other before they can really help. If a happy face comes with a laughter, then that's the kind of combination that can really help infant learn. <laughs> wow. Okay, baby can only process and enjoy the benefit of those additional sensory stimulation if they are related. For example, when you see a happy face, but then you hear a crying sound that actually confuses babies. <coughs> and the reason is, if you are looking for an apple, by going to a pharmacy or a shoe store, they're not, it's not going to help you that much. So although having more exposure to the shops will help uh, give you a higher chance to get the item, but what kind of shop is actually quite important. I think one important thing that we have shown is it is not always true the more the better. You need to find out whether the audio and visual components are related to each other. And of course, this is only at the initial beginning stage of this kind of study. So we don't know what happened if it's touch and visual, and what is considered related and what is considered not related. And when we are talking about the relevance between two things, there's a cultural component. The different cultures will define different things as related and non-related. So I do see this kind of study may have some cultural differences that, that um, maybe we can include it in the future studies. <laughs>